For more on the investigation into the train crash, we're joined by Mark Rosenker, our CBS News National Transportation Safety Analyst. He's a former chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board, and he's in our Washington Bureau. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Mark, you've been involved in hundreds of these investigations. Tell me what the NTSB is looking for right now. What's the most important information they can get from this investigation, from the event, from the image recorders? Well, right now they are having some tremendous challenges with the event recorder. They've had to send it to the manufacturer, so they've sent a technician from the recordings laboratory in Washington along with the device down to work with the manufacturers to be able to actually download the data. That data is going to share with us what the speed was. If, in fact, the engineer attempted to stop the train in any way, and ultimately, did he attempt to even use the emergency braking system? So this GO team was sent just within hours of the, the crash itself by the NTSB. What exactly is its responsibility? These are about a dozen folks. They include an investigator in charge, a member of the board, some press staff. But the professional investigators that will be there will be looking at the equipment. They'll be looking at the track. They'll be looking at signals. They'll be looking at the, uh, the, uh, the uh, see if there was positive train control. They're also going to be looking at signals. They'll be looking also uh, with po uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, human factors issue and survival factors. Mark, there was another crash at, at this Hoboken terminal in 2011 involving a, a, a PATH train. W will, will those findings be part of this investigation? Well, it's coincidental that this accident actually occurred almost at the, the same time that the accident occurred at the uh, 2011 Hoboken station accident. Uh, clearly, they're going to look at that, but the evidence that, in fact, is presented before them with this accident may end up having some different issues. So, Mark, this, this commuter train, as you mentioned, was not equipped with positive train control technology. What exactly is that, and, and how might it have impacted this situation? Positive train control is an advanced series of technologies using elements of GPS, radio, track signaling, and computers on board the locomotive. What it's designed to do is to actually monitor the train's performance, and if, in fact, it begins to overspeed or go through signals, it will alert the engineer, and if the engineer does not react, it will take over the train and stop it. All right, Mark Rosenker in Washington this morning. Thank you, Mark.